Hi there. So it's it's five o'clock and um, we're just going to give it another minute before we fully get started, as we know people will just be beginning to join us now. Um, welcome to our first open day for our new academic year. Um, if you joined this session, you're joining Urban Planning and Environmental Sustainability. Um, I'm Kirsty McCarry. I'm one of the lecturers here at the University of Dundee. And I'll take you through um, some of the information about our programmes, particularly the, the different options and pathways, what that means um, following university as well. I know we're just about to join, but actually what that also means for you towards the end as well as you move towards being a graduate um, of the University of Dundee. We are working on a live system. Um, I can't hear you, but we do have a QA and a um, function. So please do use the Q&A function if you want to ask any questions, whether it's about the university itself, whether it's about the course, um, or if there's general information that we can help you with. If it's something that we can't answer when we're here, um, we'll certainly follow up with you after that as well. There is a slight time delay with everything that we say as well. Um, so there's about a 30 second time delay. So, you know, don't worry if your, your question doesn't get answered um, immediately. Um, it just takes a little bit of time for things to come through the system and for us to be able to respond. Um, I don't have a student ambassador with me from our programmes today, but we are joined by another student from DG CAD. Um, so if we have any student related questions about student experience, we can certainly answer those for you as well. So I'm going to take you through a few slides, give you a bit of an outline um, to the different options available to you at Dundee um, and hopefully gain um, a little bit of insight for you into what that means um, as part of the course. So. You've joined us because you're potentially thinking about joining um, or interested in looking at urban planning, town planning, cities, or maybe you're looking at the more environmental side, whether it's the environmental assessment, whether it's driving sustainability. Everything that we do around our programmes helps you work towards professional accreditation. It's very interdisciplinary and um, it really sets you up with a set of skills that will take you way beyond the time um, when you are with us at the university. And these different approaches and the ability to work together and collaboratively is what helps us to look at how we can manage change in a way that will balance all the competing needs in the world, whether they're social or economic, environmental, physical. Um, we have a lot of challenges in our global world. Um, and we are the ones where, you know, through planners and environmentalists, we can actually help shape that future world for us. Um, really much about changing outcomes, making things better for everybody and challenging the norm. So whether it's bringing in circular economy, bringing in sustainable construction, bringing in better policies that support health and well-being in a place. We've all experienced stuff over the last 18 months that make us look at our environments in a completely different way. And this is a way in which you can shape your career that will participate in that and be an active citizen moving forward. And there was a recent report actually came out um, by the UN Environment Programme and what it said was urban planning and environmental sustainability as career choices are uh, among some of the key ones that will help support that greener future for us and for the world as well. Um, so we're definitely off to a good start. You know that there's going to be options out there and um, those options aren't just in Scotland. They are UK wide. They're global because what and how you learn with us in, in Dundee will actually allow you to work on a global platform as well. So you'll probably know a little bit about Dundee already. You may have joined or you've visited through our VFair, some of the ongoing um, stalls that we've got. So you know that Dundee is the coolest little city in Britain, according to GQ magazine. Um, and it's a fantastic place to actually learn. You can live and learn in a place that is evolving, that is developing, that is regenerating itself. It's creating a brand for itself. It's doing it in a sustainable way. Um, 
and there's a lot going on in this vibrant little city. And for us, it's really important that we continue to deliver the best academic experience for you. Um, we are number one UK planning school according to the National Student Survey 2021. Um, we are there because we embed a, a culture of learning across all that we do, whether it's practical orientated or whether it's theory orientated. And we balance those pressures um, and make them help you shape your, your um, future education as well. And you play a huge part in that. So we always develop on student feedback. Um, what can we change? Are there opportunities? We work in partnership and that's what helps support a fantastic teaching and learning opportunity for us all together. So we have a number of undergraduate courses that are available as options to you. And you can look at them in, in two sort of main blocks. There's the environmental sustainability block and you can do your, your ME with environmental sustainability over your four years with us. That has IEM accreditation, so that's the Institute of Environmental Management and Accreditation. Um, so that helps you gain professional recognition that is recognised globally around the world. Or you might not be quite so sure or you might want to keep your options a little bit more open and you can join our wider ME um, and come in and do a dual programme. So you would be looking at perhaps doing environmental sustainability with geography. So over the first two years of university with us, you will take modules across those two different subjects. Again, similarly with the international business and environmental sustainability, you can sit there and again experience across two different areas that actually really complement each other. Those aren't um, accredited by IEMA, um, it's only the ME honours, that's single honours. However, if you decide by the end of year two that actually you would rather progress through the accreditation stage, we can help you transfer on that single route. So you have up until the end of second year if you want to change your pathway and you're supported by the lecturers um, and the tutors and advisors throughout your full four years with us and we will help you with module choices and keep you on that dual pathway, particularly in the first two years. Likewise, with urban planning, there are two main options that you would want to choose from. So urban planning in itself as a single honours, um, it is again four years. It is accredited by the Royal Town Planning Institute. I'm a member of that. I have the professional accreditation from that. Um, and what that does is allow you at the end of your four years, after a couple of years, um, experience in working practice, you can become a professionally um, accredited chartered member of it. But again, you might not be quite so sure, you might be wanting to keep your options open a little bit and therefore you might choose the geography and planning route instead. So again, those first two years, you keep quite a broad range of subjects that will keep you on that dual pathway. And you can, if you decide at the end of year two, perhaps move into the single honours programme. But again, we would support you with those choices all the way through. There is very little difference between them and you would find that actually, no matter what pathway you're on, there are a lot of overlaps and similarities. It will depend on what is crucial to you. You might want that accreditation as soon as um, you graduate. If not, you might actually want to do um, the dual pathway and actually stay and perhaps do a master's with us and get your accreditation that way. That's always possible as well. So you've got those two main pathways. And what does that look like um, from a learning point of view? Well, actually, you sit for those two years regardless of the pathway you're on in that wider ME undergrad. Um, after the years one and two, you will then move into your ME year, um, year three, where we are developing the complexity of what you're learning. Um, it starts off very exploratory and um, setting and understanding in years one and two, and each year after that builds on complexity. And then you get to year four, and that's your honours year. Um, it's 
fantastic to see all these different subjects coming together. And what we really like about years one and two is that actually you will take your core module choices. You will have at least two core modules to do a semester, but you will always have an optional module that you can do over and above that. So perhaps you're interested in psychology um, or perhaps you want to do something that is still more geography orientated and you're on the urban planning pathway you can actually take an optional module um, to help support you. In year two, we have a fantastic offer of our um, career and internship type module, which is a popular choice um, across the programme. And you could go out and actually work in practice as well um, and get experience that way, which is a really good way to start before maybe looking at something like a summer internship. We recommend you do that in year two. Um, Again, if you're looking at options to perhaps go abroad or do some sort of exchange again in year two, that's the time that we would really recommend that you do it. Um, because when you get to years three and four, particularly if you're on the accredited routes, and um, that's a really crucial time. We need to make sure that you cover all the core content to get your accreditation. So as you can see, there are lots of options available to you, but we're there to support and answer any questions that you have. Um, over the time that you're with us. So what does year one and two look like? Um, you will be doing um, projects that might involve you doing a little bit of mapping work. We might use systems such as our ArcGIS mapping system. Um, you might be doing or debating a, an issue, a dilemma. We might be talking about some of the, you know, the climate crisis and emergency that we're facing. Um, you might, if you're inclined and a, and a visual communicator, you might use um, some of the visual um, learning opportunities and packages that we've got to perhaps add some um, aesthetic quality to a report that you're doing. We'll do things like site analysis, we'll go out on the site, we get to explore around Dundee and we really use that as a lab to begin to unpack the issues that are going around in our cities and our environments. Um, what you're seeing on the screen there are just some examples of some student work that we've done previously, with the exception of that top left image there, but the others are things that our students have done. What I will say is if you're on the, the, the urban planning route, don't worry if um, drawing and visuals isn't your thing that's it's not an absolute requirement for it it's just some students like to be able to express their work that way um, and we will support you throughout all that with workshops we've got a fantastic IT suite um, and we have um, specially trained staff who can help really shape and mould some of the um, skills that you will probably already be coming in with and we can help you develop those up even further and then beyond year two, it gets a little bit um, more complex. And as I said, we're building up those skill levels. Now, this is where you get, begin to make more choices around what you're interested in. Um, and you might be looking at a more urban design and analytical type um, skill set, in which case, if you're doing urban planning, you might go down the urban design route. And that means that you'll do a specialist module in urban design in year three. If you're more interested in the environmental side or you're in the environmental sustainability pathways, then you would take the environmental assessment module as your specialist module. Um, all these core skills are really important as we help prepare you towards year four, which is obviously, as I said, your honours year. And at that point, you're beginning to bring in everything that you've picked up and learned over the course of the previous three years. So research skills, um, beginning to explore areas, beginning to pick out case studies, beginning to be really critical and, and analyse issues that are around us. And you help, you're helped to support those by things like field trips um, when travel is permitted to perhaps a European city. Um, quite a number of our year threes will undertake a field trip with us and we usually do that alongside the MSc spatial planning students and um, MArch with urban planning students as well. So you'll actually get to work alongside a completely different set of students as well. Um, we've had some fantastic trips um, to a variety of places um, across the, the globe 
um, and it's something that we're keen to get back to as soon as possible. And if we're not there, then if we're not in Dundee exploring, then we might actually be um, looking at some of the areas around about us or depending on some of the option modules that you choose, you might go on a field trip study with the likes of geography, for example. And what we do is we get to the point where we are helping you create connections so that actually the skills that you're going to need as a graduate, um, you can actually begin to look at where you really maybe want to work um, when you're at that graduate stage. We're helping you develop your skill sets. We're bringing in guest speakers who are all working in practice and we're working really closely um, with colleagues, both in public and private sectors. Um, to shape the opportunities there for you. We also have a number of competitions that run um, during different year groups for different modules, and some of those end up um, with summer placements um, for some of our students as well. And that's a fantastic way to get some work experience at the same time. We even have some students who work with us during years three and four, where they might take on a student job in, for example, a, a local government um, placement, and we will work with that um, employer to make sure that you are able to do your studies and obviously the work at the same time. Um, some of our graduates are going on to um, senior practice roles um, very, very quickly afterwards, and it's fantastic to see. I think at least 95% of all of our graduates before they actually had their certificates this year had all actually gained employment as well. Um, and it's great to hear the stories of how well they're all doing, even after some of the challenges that we've faced lately. So I've said a little bit about our learning culture, but I just want to expand on that a little bit more. Um, no matter your experience, we're actually all learning together. Um, we will go out and you'll see some of the images there. You know, we'll go out and, and go out very early on in semester one. Um, and undertake a site visit and begin to unpick the area, almost like reverse doing a puzzle, um, so that we can begin to see what that place might look like in the future. Um, we will use scenario based learning, which is a really good way to give you practical experience as well and make sure you can then transfer the theory that you get and the additional learning actually into a real life situation as well. Um, and we support that through workshops, through lectures and obviously the field work as well. Um, so lots of different learning um, settings that are there and you can just see on the screen there a few of the images, whether you're doing group work, working individually, um, usually out in the sunshine, which is a good place to be in Dundee, um, or whether you're all coming together within the Matthew building um, and actually um, sharing some of your, your thoughts or visiting some of the exhibitions that might be on and happening. But we couldn't do that without our student associations. Um, we have our Sustainability and Urban Planning Student Association, so that is student-led, student-run. Um, they get support from staff as and when they need it and want it. Um, and they organise um, a wide range of educational and social events that go beyond the, the sort of formal learning that you get with us. Um, it's great to see it expand beyond the curriculum. It's a great skill to be able to add to the CV and everybody that ends up participating as a member um, has found that it looks, um, it helps to articulate some of their thinking and actually gain some additional skills. So you have a, an opportunity to join that either just as a, as a general member or perhaps you might actually join that and become one of the committee members that, that are there. Um, but they'll also do that alongside, we have ADAS, which is the Architectural Student Association as well. So they will run events as well, and sometimes they will come together and do joint events. So you actually get to make a real community sense um, across these two different groups, which is really nice to see. So it goes well beyond just your planning peers or your environmental sustainability peers. Lots of fantastic events, um, lots of guest speakers that come in um, and I guess one of the advantages of being a little bit more online um, laterally was that we could bring in speakers globally um, really easily and we had a fantastic lineup of people across um, the last 12 months. 
I've mentioned a little bit about external opportunities. Um, there are study trips that are optional um, to different destinations, again, dependent on travel. Um, sometimes even the day trips um, in the UK, in Scotland, um, surrounding area are fantastic to get to know um, the people on your course a little bit more and get to see different perspectives. Um, there can be competitions running. You're always welcome to get involved with them. And um, whether it's something that's being run in house or whether it's something from an external participant. Um, and again, it's all about being able to use your skill sets um, and prepare you for um, graduation as well. Um, the picture on the right hand side on your screen that was actually taken um, on the field trip to Freiburg um, a couple of years ago. Um, the students had a fantastic time all working together, the architects, the planners, environmental sustainability students, um, and it's a good chance to get to know different people um, and explore somewhere new together. And you go beyond that. So, you know, we've talked about skills, what that might look for um, for you. Um, and then you're going out there to work um, in a range of different places globally. So whether you are working in a private practice, whether you want to work more public sector, perhaps in government, um, or maybe even in the third sector, there are so many different places that your skill sets can take you. Um, graduates, going back several, several years, are directors or owners in companies. Um, they are building up lots of different ways in which you can use your skills. Um, they are everywhere from New Zealand to Australia to um, Malaysia to Canada. Um, they have got their own design practices. They've got their own companies um, or they're very happy collaborating with other people. Um, whether you are going out with accreditation or whether you want to top up your learning afterwards and move towards accreditation, all of our stuff now, whether it's the architecture ones that are ARB and RIBA or whether it's planning or IEMA ones, um, they're recognised not just in the UK but across the world and are transferable in many respects as well. So, for example, RTPI have an international support system um, so perhaps you end up working in Australia or perhaps you're coming from Australia. Um, you can um, convert some of your learning back and build up your recognition, um, which is really important. So your learning doesn't stop or your support for certainly from us doesn't stop just before uh, just when you graduate. We're, we're there right the way through and we love hearing the different stories of how you're actually getting on once you've graduated as well. So if you're looking to join, um, we are typically looking at two A's and two B's um, from hires and three B's if it's at A level, or perhaps you've got an HNC or an HND. Um, applications obviously are through UCAS and that personal statement is a really good um, starting point for helping us to understand what makes you interested in urban planning or environmental sustainability. Um, it's a great way for you to be able to um, perhaps tell us about a place that you'd experienced or a book or somebody that you'd influenced or perhaps there's a statistic of something that you've come across or an ambition that you have that you want to change and why you think that actually coming to learn at Dundee would help support that ambition for you and help you realise that. So put that little bit of thought in your personal statement um, because it helps us to understand you a little bit as well. If you're coming from um, an international um, country and there you have uh, English language requirements to make, um, they're up there on the screen for you as well just now. Um, but there are obviously um, options and do reach out to our admissions and recruitment teams if you want to know any more about that, they would be delighted to help support you um, in making sure you've got all the requirements needed. I'm going to begin to wrap up there just now, um, but a couple of just images on the screen just show you, you know, just a little bit of the work that we begin to explore in, but you can actually visit our urban planning and architecture pages, our sort of overall homepage, um, and you can actually see some of the student work. 
that's already there. Um, it's a good way to begin to see some of the stuff that we, we have um, on offer. We're always happy to do a follow up session with you. Um, so if you aren't wanting to ask a question today through the Q&A and you'd rather have a follow up, please do get in touch with us. Um, um, either get, get us through the admissions team um, or reach out to us directly and we will support you in um, making the choices that you need. But we want to give you some reassurance that um, again, we're here to support you all the way through your programme with us. Um, so you will have an advisor of studies um, and you will have a year lead who will help make sure that you're on track, that we support any learning requirements that you have. Um, and that we're there to make sure that the experience you get at Dundee is one that is absolutely unforgettable for you. Um, so I'm going to draw that to a close and I'm just going to give it a few seconds um, in case anybody wants to ask any specific questions. I'm also going to put my email address in the chat function um, because sometimes it's easier for you to be able to reach out to us um, directly that way as well. So I'm going to stop sharing these slides um, just now. I'm bringing myself back onto the full screen. And I will just pop my email address in the chat box there just now for you all. There are so many options and I think that's something we're really aware of as well that um, you sometimes aren't quite sure which pathway that you want to join and um, you're not sure whether you're making the right decision in terms of the pathway that you want to pick. Um, so just remember that we do keep you on that dual pathway regardless of when you come in, um, which way you come in. Um, so even if you've come in as the planning and uh, geography and, and planning and you decide later on that you want to switch, even if it's over to environmental sustainability or, or otherwise, we will make sure that we're trying to guide you the best we can in the module choices that you've got. OK, so we're just going to give it um, another minute. And if there aren't any um, other questions, then we will draw this um, initial session to a close. Dundee's a really exciting place to um, to be, to study. I studied at Dundee um, many years ago and went out into practice and did 14 years in public and private practice um, before coming back um, to undertake an academic side. Um, I took an urban design route pathway, but it's opened up so many different options, whether you want to go and do project management, whether you want to drive forward business changes. Um, there are so many different ways that you can actually use all your skills that you gather here at Dundee. And it's a fantastic environment, as you'll see from all the um, videos and um, exhibition information about what it's like to live and in, in study in Dundee. And no wonder so many people actually stay with us way beyond the point when they graduate. OK, that's great. So thank you very much for joining us. Um, there are no more questions that are there, um, but we do look forward to hearing from you. And if there's anything else that we can do, please reach out to me, um, Kirsty McCarry, um, or to the academic um, admissions and recruitment teams who will absolutely be able to point you in the right direction as well. Thanks very much. <laughs>